How does a bill become a law? That question is like someone asking you how to build a winning race car. It's a little bit more complicated than it may first appear. There are several ways to get it done, and it's certainly harder to do than one would hope. It also takes more time and more money than you originally thought. Now, if you're already humming the theme to the famous I'm just a bill bit from back in the day, you're on the right track. But we're going to break it down to show you the paths a bill can take to become a law and the possible obstacles along the way. A bill, just like a race car, starts with an idea. The Recognizing the Protection of Motorsports Act, known as the RPM Act, started as a simple idea to protect Americans' right to convert street vehicles into dedicated race cars and the motorsports parts industry's ability to sell products that enable racers to compete. The basis for a bill doesn't have to come from an elected official. In most instances, it comes from a person or an interest group that has a problem that must be addressed. In this case, the RPM Act was inspired by a 2015 EPA regulation that threatened racing, as it prohibited racers from modifying the emission system of any car, truck, or motorcycle that was produced for street use. Once SEMA and PRI crafted the language for the RPM Act, the next step was to find a member of Congress who would officially introduce the legislation as a bill. This member is known as the bill sponsor. Introducing a bill requires a sponsor, or several sponsors, who agree to the initial language enough to sponsor the bill. If you've been racing for long enough, you well know the value of a great sponsor. We didn't have to look too far, as staff for Representative Patrick McHenry from North Carolina contacted us. The congressman was aware of the EPA's proposed regulation and the threat it posed to local businesses, and he was determined to introduce legislation to protect racing and motorsports parts businesses. We can thank Representatives McHenry and Raul Ruiz of California for serving as the lead sponsors of the RPM Act of 2021, HR 3281, and more than 100 other lawmakers who are co-sponsoring the bill. Once introduced, a bill is assigned to the Committee of Jurisdiction for its potential review and consideration. In the case of the RPM Act, it was submitted to the House Committee on Energy and Commerce where it awaits consideration. Now, there are lots of bills introduced each year in Congress, just as there are lots of race cars sitting on jack stands across the country. Right now, there are 7,956 bills and resolutions that have been introduced during the 2021-2022 session of Congress, and the vast majority of them will never go much farther than that. This is where having a large number of co-sponsors and public support can go a long way. One of the best ways that we the people can make a difference is to message our senators and representatives to ask them to support a bill, like the RPM Act. This is easy, and to date, more than 1.3 million proud Americans have sent letters to Congress asking them to pass this legislation. You've already contacted your lawmakers, right? If not, there's an easy way to do it. Click the link below and it will help lawmakers understand just how important this bill is to you, an American voter. Remember to make your voice heard and write letters early and often to keep a bill, any bill, top of mind. Still with us? Okay, great. Next up for a bill that's been assigned is for the Committee of Jurisdiction to hold a public hearing where experts provide their thoughts on the legislation. Pending the outcome of the hearing, the bill may then be scheduled for a committee vote whereby it can be passed as originally drafted or its text may be amended. Bills must receive support from a majority of the committee members present in order to be considered on the floor of the House or Senate. Remember those co-sponsors we talked about earlier? This is where having a large number of co-sponsors is very helpful as the lawmakers that signaled their support for the legislation and will vote for the legislation unless the bill has changed substantively. The actual vote is somewhat straightforward. If a majority vote for and pass the bill, it moves to the other house to go through a similar process of committees, debates, and voting. Yep, it goes through the whole process again. What if the second house decides to change something in the bill, you ask? Unfortunately, both houses must agree on the same version of the final bill before it can go forward. Just like you and the tech guy at your favorite sanctioning body must agree on the definition of a small block before you get to race. 
This could take time and energy and may require additional work, but both houses of Congress must agree before sending the bill to the President of the United States of America. When the bill finally reaches the White House, the President has a couple of options. The President can sign the bill into law or veto it, whereby he or she states their objections to the bill and returns it to Congress. So far, just 36 of the nearly 8,000 bills introduced this session have become law in the 2021-2022 session of Congress, and it's our job to make sure the RPM Act advances through the process and becomes a law. It's crucial that we act now, with diligence, to tell our representatives that protecting Americans' right to convert street vehicles into dedicated race cars and the motorsports parts industry's ability to sell products that enable racers to compete is a critical issue and one which you, the voter, wants to see become a law. As you can see, just like building a winning race car, there are many factors at play, and getting the winning combination takes a lot of hard work, some great timing, and a lot of help from the people around you. Most importantly, it's possible to turn a great idea into a bill, and it's conceivable to turn that bill into a law. If you support the RPM Act and want to see this critical bill become a law, we ask you to share this video with several of your friends, write letters to your lawmakers telling them to pass the bill, and to do everything in your power to keep the RPM Act top of mind until it becomes a law. If you love racing, the RPM Act is critical to protect Americans' right to convert street vehicles into dedicated race cars and the motorsports parts industry's ability to sell products that enable racers to compete.